They don't want me representing the people. They don't want it. Do you know what I've done? I've done something that is unprecedented. They're going out of their way to sabotage me. Every opportunity they get, they are trying to sabotage me. All right. So we got our heart broken and now we got swerved. Ain't you something, WWE? Huh? Vince, I gotta give it to you. You really played us. You really, you, you f <sighs> Okay, let's calm down and talk about this like civilized people. You f If you follow wrestling, you know what I know, what everyone knows. The journey of Cody Rhodes. Heck, they even named this rivalry all roads lead to Roman. WWE smartly integrates this into the rivalry which makes a compelling hero that can finally defeat this unstoppable force. The poll I put up after WrestleMania also has most of my channel viewers thinking that Cody should have won. And not only Cody being a believable challenger, the fact that everyone else had lost against Roman left Cody to be the only chance of dethroning the champion. Other than that, they even let Sammy and KO, the two most believable challengers, lose and form some sort of an alliance with Cody to help him crumble the bloodline so Cody can truly face Roman 101. Although that's not the case and Jim Cornette is kinda not happy about that, but whatever, it's Roman. We hate him. We're supposed to. He's a heel. Cody himself resurrected his career and found career redemption. He is now probably one of the best wrestlers right now. Every time he appears, he keeps people's eyes on him. Every time he speaks, he keeps people's mind on the promo. Every time he wrestles, he keeps people entertained. Putting Sammy losing aside, Cody is the right guy at the right time at the right place. All the stars are aligned. Every part of the journey leads to this one rivalry, one night, one match. There is no other option. I mean, yes, there is, we saw that, and it is something I think the majority can agree on, the wrong option. They even let Solo eat his first loss after being undefeated for so long just to build up Cody's chance of winning, which is a lie. Lately, Solo kept losing his aura of being the unstoppable enforcer with all the disqualification loss, and after the pinfall to Cody, Solo is really losing it right now. So you want to let Sammy lose? Fine. At least you know they want Cody to be the guy. Or at least they want us to believe that for reasons I stated. We digress. Sammy ain't winning no matter how much we want it. We watched the Elimination Chamber. It happened. Heartbroken. Let's just move on. At least we still got Cody and Sammy will win the tag team titles. But no! WWE just straight up saying, congratulations, congratulations. you, you played play yourself. yourself. Then why let Sammy in that situation if what we thought the reason he lost isn't even a thing? Before, Sammy lost because of Cody needing to be the one. But now he ain't the one. What the hell? So Sammy lost for no reason whatsoever other than Roman needed to continue being a box office draw at WrestleMania. Just... Just... You f In wrestling, we all know the story never ends until the wrestler retires or dies because we have seen a lot of legends returning to kinda wrestle and Triple H gave the reason why Cody lost. He said that this is not the ending but a beginning. Sure. Fine. But as I said, this is the right time, right place, right man. Mad respect to Roman and Cody knowing the result and still needing to act like nothing unusual is going to happen and put on an absolute classic. But what now? To what end? Cody being one of the names on long defeated list is really gonna help build up Cody's story any further because we all know it has finished build up. The story starts with him joining the WWE all those years ago, to him leaving, reinvented himself, changing the wrestling game, returning as a better man. This is the payoff. It's like a really good movie, we were in the middle of the third act right before the climax was about to happen. The movie stopped and the director wanted us to watch another anthology film that will further the story. Then we get back to the climax again. Why? 
There is really no reason for that in terms of storytelling. I'm very sure this is a business decision to subvert predictable outcomes, generate conversation, boost future buy rates. Or maybe the WWE getting sold has something to do with this. No matter which one, it is not the right one for the story. It sucks. To end this video on a positive note, not sure if I can, but I'll try. Okay, so. Um. Mm, all right. Now, not that. Um. Oh, I got it. Uh, no, I don't. I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was gonna say Triple H gave us a lot of reasons to trust his booking, but I really can't believe this one. No matter how bad of a booker, no one will book something like this. And no matter how great a booker Triple H is, at least for now. I don't see how he can turn this giant loss into something even bigger and more impactful. I just can't. Maybe I'm a fool. But all the people out there who think this is the wrong decision, at least I got them with me. Yeah, so we'll just have to keep watching. Now Vince is back and he starts changing the show during the show, telling Brock to come out and flip us off. Why don't you do it yourself, Vince? Huh? Don't hide behind Brock. Just keep watching, and it's gonna turn into a few years back, like during the pandemic era when nobody cares anymore. It's just three times, three consecutive challenges: Drew McIntyre, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, all got screwed just for Cody, and now Cody got screwed either, which makes the previous three got screwed even worse. What the hell?